Hi, good morning everybody. I'm doing a quick walkthrough for this new Trihack Me hosted hypervisor. This is a free room. You can uh, you, you can access the content and follow. I'll do a quick uh, uh, walkthrough for, for it. Uh, I'm accessing through RDP. I'm using um, uh, I'm using directly the uh, X3 RDP to connect. Uh, I like this one because it's better to uh, than directly accessing from the split screen. So this one I can access directly. It's fast and you can copy and paste between things. So I enjoy using this one. So you connect, of course, after you connecting, of course, they give us here is like, uh, I'll do quickly to the labs, but you can read more about this here. For example, have visor and network component. Of course, you can now uh, network connection. Where is network connection? Long time in uh, in uh, network and sharing center. Let's see what's on that. Uh, change, let's see if it's there. No, it's not here. Where is it? That, uh, oh yeah, that's where you see them. So we can see how four we have um, is a virtual box and then there's the, the VMware here. So you can see that when you start investigation, you can see them from the network connection. Uh, we can also see them through PowerShell with get uh, Dashnet ad adapter. Uh, sorry, uh, PowerShell. Uh, um, get net ad adapter uh, net where is it sorry net adapter it will give us the same one we got now so they are the same uh, not this one this one so we have the four of them, so it's two virtual and one VM. So this is part of the reconnaissance, so you can have, so... Uh, network, yeah, for me I don't use VMware, I use uh, virtual box. So you have a net, host only bridge, this type of network. Most of the time is net. Uh, in this, I don't think this Wireshark we test here. Is there Wireshark here? There's no Wireshark, okay. Uh, basically, they tell you you can uh, uh, detect network traffic by Wireshark and, uh, Wireshark and filter through the MAC address for the virtual box and VMware. So this is how you detect them. Then we ha uh, here they give us um, volatility to three, and they ask us to. Uh, uh, I think they already give us the. Memory damp in the f it's in the desktop I think. Yeah, this one we use it later on. We have the memory damp. I already write the application here, so we don't waste time for it. So we have um, Python Vol3 uh, memory damp Windows PS3. So we use in uh, I think it's volatility two if I'm mistaken. And then if we look, we can see the. Where is that VMware? We have the VMware here, and we can see also... So VMware again... Let's follow. This is a VMware uh, .xe, so you can know it's a VMware. And they tell you, I think the output can be difficult. Okay, we can do that. And then, inspecting the network... If we see vmat.xe, so no, not this one. We have vmware.xe, so we know it's a vmware. That's why I said uh, you can observe the process vmware x in present, and we can see it here. It's there, and then or of course the same things. If you can read this, you can use the. Uh, Pipe it to, not pipe it, redirect it to text file. I already did that. So we can access that file because it's easy to read. So we can see it here easier. So, and you can, uh, here it's easy because you can also search. So we don't need to have problem. For example, if I search VMware, you can easily find it here. This is VMware authentication. Uh, VMware VMX. 
Let's go up. Uh, where is the original VMware process? Uh, hold on a minute. Where, where are you? This is the VMware. There's a lot of VMware. Where is the VMware I'm looking for? Uh, no, that not what the one. It's supposed to be VMware.xe. Yeah, this one. This is the the main process. This is the parent. This is the original process. So we can use the text file if you, if you redirect it. Also, we can uh, for communication network. Of course, we reconfig net. You can see VM net, and of course, we need to go to net start. So we can um, we can do the same here. We can just uh, PS3. We can, uh, sorry, no, I already did that. Let's finish quickly. I'm looking for... Uh, now we, uh, we're doing the network one, the net start one. So we go to net start. Uh, let's redirect this so we can easy for us to uh, to read uh, to uh, let's copy it to the desktop to file called net start. Okay, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Put to .txt or not. So now we can get all the the network connection uh, because we're using VMware. We're looking for this process VM net.xe. Uh, we we done so let's go to the desktop open with the notepad and then we got our files and we have the vm uh, vm uh, vmnet.exe file so we can have this one and you can see the ip address the local ip address that connecting establish establish so we already have uh, the information. So the question is follow the question. What is the PID of the process VMware in the memory dump? Okay, we already got this from from the PS3. The VMware is 1896. This is the the, the process. 1896, 1896, and then what is the name of virtual box service process in uh, in Windows? Uh, in Windows, where is that name? You can see here, they says the process name will be VBox SV. So, so this is the one for VirtualBox. So the question now, now if we go now for example VirtualBox investigation, uh, when it comes to VirtualBox, so one of the tools is in the Oracle Virtual. So if we go there, uh, so if I go to local service, uh, where is the C? The C uh, program files, Oracle Virtual Box, <coughs> Oracle Virtual Box, and we have the file for if you for investigation, and then what we have there. Um, in the form we can find ex the executable file with virtual box. Where is it? Where are you? Uh, where are you? Virtualbox.xe. What's the name? Uh, Vbox Manager. Oh, sorry. Vbox Manager. M Manager. This is the the command line we can use. They tell us we can start also VM with it. We can also let me. Uh, Zoom this a bit, so we can start a VM of it, and they give us all the list of uh, things we can do with it. Oh, all of this, oh, chapter eight. Okay, then we have files. So virtualbox.xml file. So where is virtualbox.xml? Virtualbox. So this is executable file. Uh, where is the XML file? Virtualbox. PNG PNG What's the name? Vir virtualbox.xml Which folder it is? 
Uh, first we can find general information about hypervisor in the user directory dot virtual box. Oh, sorry, I couldn't confuse. So we go local C. We're running as an admin, so we can first view hidden files. Uh, I already selected hidden file. I wasn't. Uh, yeah, hold on. Twenty minutes. Just add one hour before we. And then we have dot virtual box, and we have this file. So. This is a text file, so this is this is video boxes. This is the XML file. Open with Notepad, and then we can have the information. It even gives us the IP address. You can see the, the IP address we're looking for later on for the exercise. So we have this one that config issues by video. it can good information like the interface IP address and all of that. Select window VBox SVC seven function regarding start stop. Okay, the VBox log file containing information such as OS VBox log. Let's see that file VBox log. Where is it? Why there is no VBox log here? SVC. I don't have this. It also contains information about the VM. Vbox.log. Well, maybe the log is not active or something. Okay, I don't know exactly, but any case, let's see. Then uh, the memory dump. They said, okay, we can have memory dump with the Vbox manager, but we need velocity two to convert it to uh, file that the um, volatility can extend. So we're not doing this because they already do for us. Uh, snapshot and then where is the VBox manager tool type located on? Uh, is where is supposed to be? Here in uh, the main file for the uh, where the installation usually for Oracle. So the C program. Which file contain log about installation? We, what is the XML file? We talk about it just now. Is this one? Now let's do that. logs about the installation of the OS no this one for the IP installation of the OS is uh, is this one I forgot about it the one that we couldn't find it for some very very reason for VMware of course the VMware is in program data so if we go to where is the program this local C program date uh, sorry it's in program data what we're looking for VMware and then we have interesting is the log file so VMware, VMware say and ok, VMware, uh, VMware workstation and you have auto start C10 we can open the auto start see what's on it ok so they give us a name ok and then this is the file this I think this is a part for try help me maybe later on there will become more rooms for blue team to investigate the VMware configuration for machine video machine address okay VMware to start the config we can go to the config what's on inside this config file uh, no there's no interesting auto software update okay where well, if I don't I don't really get what's that numbers for and then Vimo the logs and, and the log file. So if we go, let's close this too much open. The logs they come here and always and I think the, this is the date. If we can open this notepad. I think this is later on we need it because it gives us the, the answer for one of the of the, the question, I think, uh, if I to remember. So this is the log file and then the memory dump. And then uh, you can also do memory dump in this way. So let's do the question quickly. What file should you look to determine which VM have an auto start? Auto start, as you said, is the XML file. This one. I think they prepare us. This is a model. I think try hack me. Where is the other hypervisor logs type poly located on? The logs are in this one. Here they give us all the information. So if you go to the practical, they tell us is uh, we have an exercise memory dump in the desktop, and they said investigate the VMware. We already talked now about the VMware log and look for something with TryHackMe. 
we already know the logs of VMware logs and we have this file we already opened just now let's do the file and if we go scroll down here I don't know to scroll a search for try hack me bracket I will find it that's the the flag for so we can just put that there and then they give us uh, exercise uh, we now we're using exercise memory dump in the VM what is the PID of the box VSC so we got PS3 for the, the, the exercise so we already did this so we can play in, in the PowerShell so desktop CD voltage uh, no not video vo no CD desktop Voltality Python vol minus file it's in desktop uh, it's an exercise and windows.ps3 so let's get oh. so what we're looking for for the process for vbox is vc.exe process um, okay let's wait for it and we can do the same here but ps3 we can do net start there and for the exercise one the one for if you don't want to wait windows.net start let's it run here so let's go back to our so now we we looking they ask the question is for the, because now we're looking for virtual box so the v box svc so where is virtual box svc uh, sdc so where is the svc uh, v box svc so the 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 ip uh, the process ip uh, id is uh, 6052 so we got this one 6052 then they set us look for uh, what is the ip of the virtual network adapter remember we're talking about virtual box so virtual box investigation networking if we're looking for a virtual box he said the process uh, For VMware, we're looking for vimnet.xe for virtualbox handled by virtualbox vm.xe. So let's see if we can see it. Uh, and that is the process virtualbox vm. So this is the name of the process we're looking for. So if we're looking for the IP, so we can see it here. It's uh, this local IP. So. So we already have our answer here. So this is quick room. I think they're preparing for, I think, maybe something later on to... Okay, that's the finish of the room. So yes, guys, it's an easy room to play around. Some volatility, some windows, some networks. So uh, you can play some PowerShell. So yeah, thank you very much. Hope you like it. If you have a question, comment. Please like and support the channel. Thank you very much and have a good day.